Easter is coming and I decided to do a casting giveaway. Watch to the end to see the entry instructions. I went to the dollar store and found some chocolate bunnies. Since they look like they were cast, the design should work well for sand casting. I built a bigger sand casting flask and I can't wait to try this. I followed the same steps as my sand casting video. Instead of the plaster patterns, I used the chocolate bunny itself. Oops. It looks like the sand attached to the chocolate and didn't work out quite as I had hoped. Now I will try something a little different. I paint it with some regular primer. After it's dry, I use it as the pattern. It looks like the paint covered a lot of the details on the pattern. That's not what I want. Let's try it again. Since my last two tries didn't work, I decided to make a plaster bunny. For that, I mix two parts silicone, vacuum it to remove the bubbles, and add the bunny. After it is cured, I cover it with more silicone and wait until it's completely cured again to cut the silicone to reveal the mold cavity. Okay, so this is not going to make a good bunny. We probably didn't let the vacuum work for enough time. There were too many bubbles in the mold. Let's let the vacuum pump work a little longer. I used the same two-part silicone, but this time I let the vacuum work for about five minutes. It looks pretty good. I add some plaster inside and let it cure. Now that I have a plaster pattern, I can cast it in the flask. <laughs> yeah, that detail in that egg. Look at this. It's so good. I just... We're so... This is so close. So close. Got a little issue with this little guy, but... As you can see, that issue is already there. The details are better, but there's a lot of porosity because I missed my basin and poured the metal directly into the sprue. I can do better. Instead of making a horizontal silicone mold, I will do it vertically. The bubbles should float away from the bunny and not affect the result. Now that's a great plaster pattern. I follow the same steps as the last try, and wow, there is way less porosity. Now it's time to polish it. I bought a buffing wheel and brown buffing compound at Harbor Freight. We had an issue mounting the buffing wheel, so we used a little tape to center it. I ground down some of the edges and used the buffing wheel. The burrs on the part tore apart the buffing wheel and the speed was probably too fast, but it still resulted in this rustic looking bunny. We'll call this try one of polishing aluminum. The rest of it has to go in another video. I will be giving away three of these bunnies. To participate, comment below. I will randomly select three winners on Easter Monday, April 5th, 2021. One of the lucky winners will receive a 10 tries lost PLA project kit. Available for US residents only, no purchase necessary. Thank you for your support, and I hope to see you soon.